Hello again. Tributes have been flowing for St Kilda legend Daryl Baldock, who's died aged 72. He remains the Saints' only Premiership captain and will be remembered as one of football's all-time greats. Flags were at half-mast at the Saints' new base at Seaford and tributes flowed for Daryl Baldock. Great bloke. Um, best player I ever saw. Great to play with. Great captain. You know, you had Skilton and Witten and Nichols and... Um, Kevin Murray and uh, Graham Arthur and players like that and Schultz, you know, he was, he was right there with them. To me, as far as football is concerned, he was magic. He was selfless to the extreme, he was a family man and he was just a champion, he was an icon. He, uh, he'd just be sadly missed, he will. He passed away in Tasmania after a long battle with illness. He could still drink more than you and he could still eat more than you. <laughs> he, was, he was great, you know. A legend of both the AFL and St Kilda Hall of Fame, he played 119 games for the Saints, but was also a horse trainer and parliamentarian. St Kilda will honour Bulldog when the season starts, but surely the ultimate would be for the Saints to do this year what Doc and his mates did back in 66. I'm pretty sure he'd be... Uh... He'd be looking on from up there somewhere with a smile on his face if that does happen. Bulldog was 72. Leith Mulligan, seven years. Jim Steins will speak publicly for the first time since the Brownlow medal at Melbourne's AGM tonight. He joined the Melbourne faithful at their intra-club hit out today. And while Ricky Pettit suffered a hamstring strain, Tom Scully stamped his authority and Jack Watts also impressed. He's not a one-man show, he's, he's one of many who can kick goals for us. As long as we kick a winning score, I don't care who kicks them. Let me tell you, at the end of the day, if we're winning games, that's terrific. And tomorrow's game between the Indigenous All-Stars and Richmond in Alice Springs has been brought forward to avoid storms due to Cyclone Yasi. Australia's great run chase against England has been soured by yet another injury.